Hello guys and welcome. What a day today has been. So first off, we received information about Factorio's 2.0 release date and also the release of Space Age, which is coming out on, if I remember rightly, the 21st of October. And now we have Satisfactory's release date. Now, the first thing that I wanted to do during stream, we saw the initial announcement and I thought I'd show you the reaction to that. And then immediately after, we're going to go back through everything and see if you caught all the new things because there is actually a huge amount to get, get through. And I'm really excited to share with you what I found. But first of all, let's check out my reactions to it. Let's go, guys! Fade to black. Just the date. <laughs> Could you imagine? Don't do this. They're, they're trolling. They're trolling. Please don't troll. Please don't troll! <laughs> Please. What is that? Is that the quantum computer thing? Toilet DLC! <laughs> well, they're gonna add that in, come on. New space elevator parts. Is that a new pipe? No, new, new texture on the pipe. New hub. Flush. <laughs> okay. September the 10th. Guys. Wow. So there we are, guys. They have announced that the release date for... 1.0 is going to be the 10th of September, but that is far from the most important news. And we are going to watch the video, but I did want to take a screenshot of the very first screen because there's so much going on here to talk about. Uh, also, this is going to be a video that's more about my spew of information rather than just editing it down. I hope you don't mind. If you do find this helpful, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more of our content, make sure to subscribe as we're going to have a lot more in the lead up to 1.0. The first thing that I wanted to, to bring to your attention is this building. Originally, I thought it was something to do with the production of quantum computers, and I am mistaken. I am pretty certain I'm mistaken because the item here I thought was a quantum computer, but it's not. I'm pretty sure that isn't a quantum computer. And in fact, I think it's a, given that it's going up to the space elevator area, I think that it is a space elevator part. And you can see we've got the gravity field uh, generators here. And I think this might be, I'm not actually sure. Maybe that's the assembly control units. Can't remember what they're called. Anyway, it looks like we've got the space elevator parts going to the space elevator figures, right? But if we zoom in over at the input here, we can actually see this little item. Um, and if I, I just grab a little box, you can kind of see it's that kind of shape, uh, a square shape, and, and that's kind of the size. So I believe that's the quantum computers that we already have in game just can't produce. And that leaves me questioning, what is this item here? And at first I thought it could have been a computer or a supercomputer. Obviously it's too short to be a supercomputer, but I could only see it on a small screen. And I think it's neither of them, but instead a cooling system. So whatever is being produced here, it looks like it requires cooling systems and quantum computers. But that brings me to the next point, which is over here, if we look, we have a new material. I don't know if this is a new liquid or a new gas, but it's pink. There's suggestions that it could be. I have a 
the Dini in stream earlier said that it could be something to do with Cobalt, which may be a new material that we have in game. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but it apparently um, Cobalt Fluoride is a pink gas, so it kind of fits in there and is used in... I think they said the refinement of metals. So potentially, or it could be some kind of coolant for the cooling systems like um, nit liquid nitrogen, maybe. Um, I don't know. I don't know why it would be pink though. Uh, regardless, it looks like it's coming out from here. So I presume this is spent coolant and that may be needed to be cooled down or I don't know, something in order to use it again. It just seems very inter- Oh! What if the cooling systems have a new recipe and require coolant? And the coolant is expelled while building these items? Maybe. Uh, I'm just spewing information here. The other thing that I wanted to, to bring to your attention is the power supply uh, unit. The power storage now normally we need them for things like the particle accelerator which we'll get to shortly because of the the way that the the power ramps up during its production um period and i think that maybe it could just be for decoration but because it's there next to this machine suggests to me that maybe that will be the case with how this machine uses power as well uh next let's have a look at this down here this is a new pillar by the looks it could be that maybe they've clipped a uh, a fencing piece a few levels below and then run a pillar through uh, a beam through but i'm not sure i think that could well be a new build piece for us and if we go up and across to here another thing this this wall um, hold doesn't look how it normally does in in, in game because you have uh, across the side you have the warning like stripes and then you have a much thicker um, siding so it could suggest that we have a new kind of conveyor hold but I'm not a hundred percent on that because it could be down to the lods the further you, you are away from the the item the different the lod and that could impact that so it could just be a basic um, wall hole I also wanted to bring the attention up here I think this could be a another item as well it's really odd having so much red um, items so many red items here and it could be turbo fuel it kind of has this stripe just along the bottom but it could be something else i'm not 100 percent that's fuel and if we look over here this looks like it's a bigger kind of barrel rather than what we're used to seeing with the turbo fuel so this this could well be a different item altogether but one thing that's very interesting is that the particle accelerator now has an item that requires a liquid input now we we have a liquid input on the particle accelerator that's new but we don't have a recipe for that so it was it would be easy to assume that we have a new item that requires a liquid input and two material inputs on the particle accelerator i think this is I think this is copper actually it might be the new a new material which we'll talk about later that's what i think it could be uh the other thing that we should probably jump over to is just here this looks like it's a miner now it could be a mark two miner based on the the kind of the position of these um square joints and then the warning sign or it could be a mark three one um, if it's a Mark III one, they've been they've done a very good job at concealing this. Obviously, we can't see anything behind it, and so we don't know if it's a faster conveyor. Obviously, it doesn't look like it if it's feeding a single smelter, but it could be the new updated miner. It also looks like it could potentially be slightly wider, but again, 
we have so little information there that I wouldn't be comfortable um, like saying that's definitely something new at the moment. However, underneath, we have what looks like a new building. And it would be safe to assume, based on this pink hue, that it is producing or related to the material, the liquid or the gas that we have down here. Uh, but again, no idea what that could really be unless it is something like uh, cobalt fluoride. So we could have some new gases, which I've been hoping for, or it could be a new liquid. Uh, apart from that, I can't really see anything else that's new on here. So let's continue with the video now. Right, so we're going to keep it on 1.25 time, uh, 0.25, isn't it? The, the slower speed so we can catch anything that we want. Yeah, quarter speed. Uh, is there anything of interest here? These up here, they look like the, the director control units, but they're not. This is actually this section here that you can see. It's, it's kind of a, a slightly skewed view. But we can see here, immediately there is a new item, and that is this fencing here. You can see it's kind of chain linked, but that certainly looks new to me. Also, I, I just love that they added this into the game, the, the whole flush, toilet flushing meme. Okay. Um, the, there was talk in stream. Uh, by the way, join our streams. We will be streaming um, Satisfactory up until 1.0 release. And then we're going to be streaming a new playthrough both on here, on well, on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Total Eclipse, as well as also on our More Total channel. So I'll put a link to that. And that's going to be where we do the live streams for all of our videos because YouTube's not great with live streams. Uh, but here, some people were saying this was a new item. It's not. This is the the magnetic field generators. You'll see them later on. Okay, here, new item immediately on the fourth belt. Um, we had a look. It can't be solid biofuel, which a few people were mentioning, and it can't be copper unless there's a new um, copper skin, which is a possibility. But for me, this looks more like some kind of like plasteel or a new item altogether. Also, you may have noticed there is a new window over here, uh, or it could be a new frame and they've put a glass window over the top of it. The keenest eyes among us may have also noticed... <gasps> is it? Is it what we think it could be? A row of constructors. It is constructors and behind we have a refinery. Um, just to, to clarify that. A row of constructors which look like they're daisy chained, but also given that this tiny section seems a little bit more thicker than over here, uh, I believe that it's just the, the, the perspective that we're looking at it and it's actually all um, powered by normal power poles. Sorry to uh, bring that up, but I'm sure some of you will be saying, oh look, there's a daisy chaining when there, there isn't. Um, uh, what is this? Hmm, a very short clip of, it looks a bit like a barreled item. We may see these later on. Yeah, you can see them down here as well. I hadn't noticed that. I think these we may see shortly, so let's continue on. Interesting. We'll talk about that shortly. Uh, there is nothing else here that I can see. Oh yeah, here you can see it's slightly more thicker. But again, they are being fed by, it looks like the material that we saw earlier, the plasteel. Okay. The epic run to the bathroom. And here we have 
Another new item. A few people have been suggesting that it might be the teleporters or some kind of teleportational device. I don't think that's the case. Um, judging by the way it looks, it reminds me of kind of the gravity field generator and also the uh, thermal pro propulsion rockets. So I believe this is a new space elevator item, same as the one before, which means that if so, we have a new space elevator tier. At last. Also looks really cool. Um, yeah, I was just checking it wasn't a different type of a conveyor then. Here, he says... Uh, a few people have been saying, what is this section here? The, the, these items that you can see occasionally on the sushi belt, I think those are just rotors, just the top half. A weird perspective again. And under here, wow, what is this? On the right-hand side, we can see a new pipe material. I don't know if we can have this anywhere, if it's just for particular pipes and pipe related buildables but it looks like a, a golden or a caterium or chrome kind of finish to it which is nice to see always looking to see more stuff added in terms of decorational pieces for us and then over here a few people that have mentioned during the stream what this is i thought this might be a motor at first but looking closer at it this is definitely the gravity field generator it's not a new item at all and you can obviously see the fencing along here as well. At this point, I thought this was on the left hand side, a refinery. It's not. This is a coal generator, which really makes me think because of what we're about to see. But behind the hub, we can see the constructors that we saw before. But over here, you'll see, this looks like the material that we saw a moment ago in the canisters or being packaged. I think it is. I think this is a new packaged resource. It could be a gas or something that's feeding these generators. We can't really tell because of the perspective. We can't see any being directly fed into the machines but it just seems very interesting that they're running alongside a load of coal generators and then above you can actually kind of see here but certainly in a moment like there we have these green pipes so this looks like another liquid or gas that we have available in the game as well um, i'm not sure if we have this is a, a water pipe and coal underneath feeding the generators. So who knows? But it does look like we've got a new liquid material. And then we have these, which at first I thought might be a different type of noblest, but it definitely looks like some kind of gas canister. If anyone knows... Wait. That looks like a flammable sign, doesn't it? You know how you have the little diamond with the flames? Hmm, it's got two little handles either side. Uh, let me know what you think that is in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And again, it looks like we have the, I think, plasteel. That's, that's what I'm going to call it for now. It's still being fed into those constructors. Before us, oh, hang on. Something I saw here. It's these. So uh, this is a blurred out uh, section to what we saw right at the beginning on the floor, which looked like a new beam. So I think this is a new decorational piece or structural piece. I don't think we missed anything else though. Although, what's that? It looks like a cylinder. I have no idea. And this is a coal generator. 
And then of course we have the beautifully redesigned hub and the ability to flush the toilet. Wow. Um, I do apologize if you didn't see my face for a moment. I didn't realize that the camera had died on me. Hopefully we won't have that issue now. Uh, obviously we have the ability to flush the toilets, whether they actually add that, I don't know. I'm, I'm sure they will for the memes. But the other thing that I would like to bring up is this. Now it could be the toilet flush. But I think this is more indicative of like atoms and physics and potentially a teaser of teleportation. But we will have to wait and find out for that. And obviously we finish off with the release date. And wow, what a teaser this has been. Guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please do hit the thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe for more and let me know your thoughts. I am dying to hear what you have to say. I will comment back to as many of your comments as I possibly can uh, this afternoon. So do get in the comments and let me know your thoughts. And is this worth waiting for? September the 10th. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, thank you so much to all of our amazing supporters on Patreon. Most notably, our Solo Eclipse Patreon, Five Less, as well as our Lunas, The Calamity, Ben, and Star, and our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Brain Slug. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.